y'all so we're back with another nail tutorial this is gonna be something that is up to date so if you haven't already seen we just did a brand new acrylic nail haul check out that nail haul video it has everything that you need this is gonna be a brand new set that we're doing in this video I'm gonna show you how to do coffin nails again all of the supplies that I will be using in this video will be linked in the description below you can find everything on Amazon for your convenience we're gonna be doing a coffin nail tutorial. So that's why I started from scratch, took everything off, and this is gonna be a talk through as well in certain parts so that I can show those of you who are new to the channel specific details and steps so that you can really feel confident about doing your own acrylic nail set. They have many different types of nails that you can do, but I love the good old fashioned acrylic because when you do them right, they last and you can just keep doing fill-ins. For this tutorial, you would need acrylic powder and monomer. I'm gonna actually be using Mia's Secret acrylic powder and liquid monomer for this. My all-time favorite. When you prep right, you'll get everything perfect how you need it. You're also gonna wanna make sure that when you use any type of acrylic powder and monomer, you wanna have nail prep. Mia's Secret nail prep, which is the dehydrator, and then we have the primer. And these are in significant steps so that you can prevent lifting. A pan a Kalinske brush. This is gonna be a size 14 that I use in this video. I usually use a size 10, but this is gonna be my first time using a 14 and I think that I'm ready for it. If you're new, you can use a size eight or a size 10 and that will help you with your consistency as you get more comfortable laying your acrylic nails. Of course, you're gonna need a nice set of nails that you can glue on. So I'm gonna be using EC Basket Nails by Gaga, which are clear tips. And we're gonna be using Kiss Speed Glue, which you can get these types of things online or at your local Dollar General. We're also gonna be using our goodies, which are standard nail file, cuticle nipper, nail cutter, buffer, cuticle pusher. Also, I'll be using my Bell Acrylic Nail Drill. I did a whole video review on this nail drill. I've had it for years and I still absolutely love it. It works beautifully. This is a Daffin dish. Make sure that you have some type of glass container that you can pour your liquid monomer in as you apply your acrylic. Definitely do not use anything plastic. It has to be glass. First things first, we're gonna prep our nails. So I'm gonna use the 80, the 100 grit side. Every file is usually two sides, 180 grit and 100 grit. So I'm gonna use the 100 grit side to just go ahead and prepare my nails. You wanna get it down slightly, you don't wanna do too much. And then I'm gonna use my nail drill. I'm just gonna prep my nails to even out the surface. Like I said, I just removed, like literally, I just removed the full set before I did this video. So I'm going to prep with this nail file and also push my cuticles back. Now I'm gonna use the nail cuticle clipper just to go ahead and cut down on some of these edges on my cuticles. As you can see, I pushed it back and it makes a difference when you do that. Um, be very careful on this part. You don't wanna cut too much cuticle. And also remember that when we get to drilling the actual nail bed, you're also gonna take care of some of those cuticle edges as well. we've cut the cuticles it's a lot better um and you can see it's a little more pushed back so we have a full nail bed now I did have a lot of cuticles that comes off when I cut my cuticles because that's I have thicker cuticles than the average person I used to bite my nails and my cuticles all through my adolescent years and even my teenage years which is one of the reasons I literally do wear nails because if I didn't wear nails I would get back to cut biting my nails 
and my cuticles. That's a side note. Now I'm gonna be using a nail drill to go ahead and file down my nail bed. Also remember, I have a link to this. This one's sold out. I'm gonna put a link to the other one I showed you earlier in the video. And when you do it, you wanna have it on a low setting. Um, you don't wanna be too rough on your actual nail. And as you can see when I do it, what's also happening is it's cleaning up the edges of the cuticles as well. See, it takes also that skin off on the side. So a lot of times when I actually do my nails, I don't even use the cuticle nipper every time because you can do a lot of cuticle clean up with your actual nail drill. done the cuticles and that I'm gonna just go ahead and actually cut down my actual nails I like to cut them as low as possible before a fresh set give one last little file down um, with the nail file. This is the super critical step where we first apply the dehydrate. What dehydrate does is it literally dehydrates your nail. So this is important because in order to prevent lifting, you need this before you even put your tips on, and then you wanna apply the primer before you actually apply the acrylic, and that's what's gonna give you that tight bond so that you don't have lifting on any parts of your nail. Now we're gonna use our e-basket nails. So I'm just gonna measure out the tips and glue them using the KISS Maximum Speed Glue. And you can get this at Dollar General. This is a really good nail glue. Another thing before I get to pressing and holding this glue and these nails, make sure that when you measure out your tips, you never wanna have the nail too small. It's very tempting to try to press it on there, but if anything, it's better to use a larger nail tip and just trim off the edges so that you can get a good fit instead of trying to make a nail that's not actually the size fit on there. That's gonna make you have better overall results when you finish. With your nails prepped, you just wanna add a little bit of glue. You don't need to add too much, but I do like to make sure it's all the way filled. And then you wanna hold and press. I hold my nails for at least like about 10 to 15 seconds before I move on. So I'm gonna just repeat. can see the tips are fully glued there's nothing gapping on the sides so of course we're gonna go ahead and trim down to our desired length and I love using these um, more than any other type of thing that you can trim your nail with longer than I want them to be but I rather cut long than cut short the first time around 
So I'm gonna trim them down a little bit more. And one thing that I wanted to say, which is another little tip so that your fingers can look good, when you're cutting your nails, actually, um, you wanna keep your pinky nail a little longer than you would so that you can get like a nice, even proportion when your entire nail set is done. I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other hand. So now I'm going to measure and cut. So I'm just lining up my nails next to each other as I cut so that I can see where I need to go. And we're going to get both of these sides done. So go ahead and make them a little bit more tapered and coffin. I'm just gonna use the nail file instead of some scissors so that I don't cut off too much. And we're gonna take our time on this part until we get the desired shape. you the difference you can see these are kind of tapered in the coffin and these are still straight up rectangle so I love that shape I love how they look it's gonna look really good when I lay the acrylic and now I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side and now you can see we have our shape on both sides so I'm very pleased with those these are like to me these are like medium short but definitely not short so I can I can dig it and one last time before we go ahead and apply our primer and our acrylic powder i'm gonna go ahead and use the nail drill just to make sure that all of these little edges right here are nice and blended in and of course you don't want to file down your actual nail you just want to file down the excess piece of nail tip so that it lays flat the next very important step we apply the dehydrate before we apply the nail tips that's how I like to do it and now we're gonna apply the acid-free no burn primer so that we can get a nice good grip of the acrylic powder and this is something that is an important step so that you make sure that you don't have lifting I did a whole video about this so please check that out if you haven't seen it I'm gonna apply this primer just to the nail bed not the acrylic nail itself and I like to do this um, right before I apply the acrylic powder. So I don't apply it to my left and right hand at the same time. I just apply it right before I do the acrylic filling. When I get ready for this hand, I'll apply this again on that hand before I get started. This is my Mia Secret acrylic powder. This is clear powder that I'll be using for this tutorial, especially because of the designs that I want to use. I'm also going to pour a little bit of our liquid monomer in our dappen dish. And you also want to make sure that you have some paper towels laid down so that you can 
dry your brush. And again, for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna be using a size 14 Kalinsky Hannah brush. First things first, when you're doing your nails, you wanna make sure that you get a good consistency. So the first thing I'm doing is kinda just breaking in my brush with the mon in the monomer, loosening it up and making sure that I get it in all of the bristles and also keeping the brush nice and pointed. I like the size of this brush already. I've never used the 14. But when you're ready, you just wanna dip and then rub a few little bit off on the edges and you're gonna go ahead and put it in the powder for about three to four seconds. That's going to give you a nice little bead and we're gonna apply this to our thumb. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and just rub that off before I get to actually shaping the acrylic. I always like to apply it kinda of to the middle of my nail like to the lower third part of my nail and then press it down. You don't wanna apply it right at the cuticle. That's when you start getting those flooded cuticles and it really aggravates me because when I went to the, when I was going to the nail salon um, in the recent past before I started doing my nails again, um, some of the people that I went to, they really used to flood the cuticles. So you don't want that. You want it to lay nice and flat and then if it gets a little bit hardened, you can just go ahead and dip it back in the actual monomer and that's gonna help you so help it soften out so that you can apply it across the nail. And I like to press it in, like I said, to the cuticle so that the, the cuticle bed is not flooded and thick. And when you're doing your nails, you also want to make sure that you're looking at it even from the side so that you can make sure that you have a good shape from all angles. And now my shape isn't how I want it to be. So right here you can see it's a little indented. I'm going to go ahead and apply another bead right here so that I can get that nice and rounded out. This time I'm just going to dip it in the acrylic powder for about three seconds and I'm only gonna use the tip. So I have a little bit more acrylic, dab it on there, and then I like to brush off the tip so that you can make sure that you don't get any extra powder and you can also dry out any unnecessary monomer that's in the brush so that your bead isn't too liquefied. You don't want it to be a super hard bead and then you don't want it to be running either. So, I'm just blending it in so that we can get a better shape. So as you can see, that's a nice lay. I like to do my nails um, with a little bit of thickness, but not too thick. So, that's good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this hand. Again, I'm just making sure that I clean off my brush. One more dip. Wipe it two times before I put it in this powder. We're gonna put it in here for about three to four seconds. I counted my head like one, two, three. And I'm gonna apply it to this middle nail. And I wipe off as I go. Sometimes you can tell that you get a little bit of um, the acrylic mix in your brush and you don't want your brushes to get ruined. If you take care of your brush and you, and you use them right, your brushes can last you a very, very long time. When I first used to do my nails, I wasn't really good with my brushes. They would get like, they would have like a lot of extra gunk in them after a while. So you want to kind of wipe on the paper towel as you go to make sure that you don't get anything, any excess acrylic in your brush. And it's just a matter of taking your time. When you're starting out, it should look, as a matter of fact, I have an acrylic nail tutorial that I did, which is a coffin nail tutorial. The very first time that I did my nails, I used Kiss Acrylic Powder. So I'll put the link to a Chris Acrylic Acrylic Kit as well. That's a kit that you can get from 
Dollar General and they used to have it on Amazon so I would definitely add it if they do in the links but even if you just want to practice before you go ahead and buy the real acrylic um, that's going to be good for you to practice but even if you're doing your nails and you have some uneven spots you can always just dip and fix certain areas. This nail looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead as you can see it's a slight indent right here. I'm going to just fill that with a little bit. Um, this is the type of things that they wouldn't fix when I go to the nail salon and it just really irks my nerve but I'm really particular about my shape. Your shape has a big effect on how your nails come out and again, when you're starting out, like I said, I did a tutorial with the Kiss Acrylic Kit and that was literally like my first time pretty much doing my nails. So it's just to show you don't be nervous about doing your nails. Some people think that you can't do it, but really you can, okay? You can do it. We do our own nails. I'm not a nail tech. I've never went to cosmetology school. I've never had a lesson from anybody even in person or anything like that from any type of certified cosmetologists, nail instructors, you can learn how to do them yourself. Try it. Once you follow these simple steps that I'm telling you, trust me, it will be a breeze. So now I love it looks much better. And I used to put more of a curvature in my nail, but I just do a slight curvature now because I don't want my nails too thick, especially when I'm finished with the overall look. And now on to our next nail. This time I'm gonna hold for about two to three seconds. And that's just a little bead, so I'm gonna start with my pinky. When you put your brush in the powder, um, you wanna kinda have the powder at an angle so that you can get the bead across your brush and that you don't get it directly into the tip of the bristles. You don't really want to get acrylic up in the brush. You just want to have it on the outside because when you get acrylic inside the individual brush hairs, it can be a pain. Now they do have um, brush cleaner, but you'll find that you really don't have to use brush cleaner like that, at least not too often, um, when you just don't get excess acrylic fragments in your brush. I'm gonna take a little bit more as you can see, just a little bit more. And I'm gonna make sure that it's a good thickness. And right now I'm using my right hand because I'm predominantly right-handed, even though I think I was actually a natural left hand at birth, but that's a different story for another day. I'm gonna show you how I do my non-dominant hand, but I'm actually gonna put that in a separate tutorial. So if you're interested in seeing the different techniques I use for my non-dominant hand, make sure that you check out that video that I have linked. And ta-da! And also remember, um, if you do have any imperfections, and let's say you lay your acrylic nails too thick for yourself, it's okay. Remember, we still have to file and shape and use our drill machine. So also don't worry about any imperfections because what you're gonna realize is you're definitely gonna have a little bit of imperfections when you're beginning, but you can use your nail file and your drill to get any imperfections sand away okay and look at this we're almost done we're, we're running through all of our little monomer i'm so happy that i got a dappin dish i don't think i've ever had one of these small dappin dishes like this this is the perfect type because it's like deep but then it still has like a small circumference so let's go ahead and move on to our other nails so we pressed it in for about three good seconds and we're gonna go ahead and apply And y'all, I know this nail over here is looking crazy, but don't, don't ask and I won't tell, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more. I know when I go to the nail salon, like, they would leave it like that most of the time, like relatively thin, but again, I always like to have thickness because I don't have time for my nails to be breaking at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more. They forget that women have things to do as well, things to do around the house, things to pick up, gotta pick up the kids, 
and uh, we don't got time for our nails to be breaking. We might have pretty nails, but that does not mean that we don't use them. Three seconds, I just wanted a little bit more. Always wipe it off before I get to going. And I wanted this excess to be kind of at the tip so that I can have a thicker tip. And when you do your nails, like I said, make sure that you also look at it from the side so that you can get, make sure that you're getting the shape that you want. And I'm gonna apply one more round so that I can focus on this mid area. Again, three seconds. And just take your time when you lay your acrylic. I actually like to do it. If you can paint your fingernails, which I'm pretty sure you can. We've been painting, all of us have been painting our nails since probably about the age of four. Four, five, six, or seven, take your pick. Or if you had some parents that didn't let you do anything, maybe you had to wait till you were 13, but either way, we were painting our nails since we were little girls. So it's kind of, it's not the same, but if you can paint your nails, you have it in you to lay acrylic, okay? So just don't be intimidated. Don't think that you have to do any of those. I know they have a lot of other things that you can use and do these days, but a lot of those methods are not permanent. And if you're like me and you have an active life, you don't wanna have to worry about your nails coming off or gluing them on. So good old fashioned acrylic nails is the business. All right? Who knows, your friends might start paying you to hook them up, especially if we keep going down in these quarantines, okay? So check that out. I think that looks beautiful, beautiful. Now I need a little bit more monomer because we kind of ran through that, but it's only a little bit in all actuality that fits in here. But I like that because it's better than having monomer lift left over and I really don't like to pour monomer that I've used back into my thing. So it works better for me with this dappin dish. So again, we're just gonna give our brush a good cleaning. And we're on to our last nail. I just did a little bit. And we're going to start blending it in. And let me know, if you're watching this video, let me know, do you do your own nails and you're just looking for some techniques or are you nervous to do your own nails and you're trying to get some insight so that you can start? Let me know where you're at and then also, let me know which type, what type of nail tutorials you would like to see in the future. Even though I'm not gonna be doing super long nails on myself, I do have a nail hand, so I still will be doing different tutorials that can show you different pointy nail designs and long nail designs that are gonna be very cute. This is what we got for the first round, too thin for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more layer of acrylic, and we're gonna move on to the next hand. Even if you're doing nails and you're doing it too runny at first, it's okay. You're just gonna have to end up doing a lot of layers. I know when I first used to do nails, my acrylic powder mix used to be really runny and people used to tear me up in the comments for that. I was like, oh my goodness, can I live? Can I like learn or whatever? But even if you do it like that for the first time, it's okay. You get better with everything. But again, no matter how you do it the first time, you can always make things neater when you go back in with your nail file and your nail drill. That's it, these look pretty good. You can see how they look on the side and of course this is before filing and shaping with the drill. Another thing that I wanted to say is when you're applying your acrylic, you don't wanna flood the cuticle, but you wanna make sure that you have acrylic all the way down to the cuticle, even if it's just a thin layer, because you don't want any of your nail 
exposed especially when you get to drilling you want it to all be acrylic so check it out we have both of our hands laid and remember if you want to see how i laid my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand check out the link above um that i have linked in this video and you'll be able to get that tutorial as well moving on i'm just going to use and i'm actually using the 180 grit side I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we perfect this shape, which this is a very important part of doing your nails. Take your time because, you know, you lay the acrylic, but then when you shape it with the nail file, it makes a complete difference. You wanna make sure that you get your shape just perfect, and then you can go ahead and smooth everything on out with the drill. This is how it looks after we did it with the nail file. And one thing I also wanted to say for beginners, if you don't have a nail drill, you can actually legit just do your nails with the nail file and a buffer, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, I made a little boo-boo right there. Um, but I know some people might have a heart attack if I say that, but it's true. You can do your nails with just a nail file, especially if you're not laying your um, acrylic nails too thick and you don't have too much going on. However, I'm still gonna go ahead and use my nail drill just to smooth everything out and I do have it on the lowest setting. when you're using your nail drill you want to use it at an angle because if you come kind of like into it like this you can get unnecessary dips in your acrylic and you don't want to do that because you're gonna have to lay more acrylic so when you file your nails kind of do it at an angle as you can see like you kind of have it flat up against the nail if you can tell what I'm saying that's just also a nail tip for beginners and it'll give you a little bit more control and then you won't get any unnecessary jags or dips in your nail bed. Another thing I wanted to point out is you can see when I'm doing this, all I'm doing is making sure that I have that nice straight shape. And it's easy to do it when you lay the drill flat up against the nail. And of course this is on the lowest setting. You wanna make sure that you don't have it too high cause you don't wanna make any mistakes. And this low setting is definitely enough. And then you just want to make sure that you got your tips perfect. Perfect, square, and even. I always like to do that part with my file. And there we have it. I'm gonna repeat that same step on my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand, so make sure that you check out that tutorial if you wanna see that step as well. So everything is filed and shaped. I'm gonna go ahead and wash and show you the final results. So that is it for our beginner's acrylic nail lay tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Remember that you can click the link that's attached to this video to also see how specifically I did the non-dominant hand step by step. And also make sure that you stay tuned for the next video to see the nail design that we do, which I'm gonna be doing some pretty cool things. I'm gonna be doing some chrome nails, a little bit of inlays, and a little bit of razzle-dazzle. See you on the next video. Love y'all, bye.